Hi, my name is Harley, and this is my partner Enrica and our son Nagual. Uh, we live in Missawai, Ecuador, and we recently received an invitation to uh, go and stay with the local Warani people um, out in the deep jungle. Um, they are uh, barely contacted. Uh, they the, only the women come to town. Um, it's a really unique opportunity to go and be a part of this culture, um, and. Also, I have been suffering from severe debilitating health problems and I have only uh, been able to partly resolve them with Western medicine. And the Warani have an encyclopedic knowledge of the healing plants in the jungle and I'm really hoping that I might be able to heal uh, these issues that have really compromised my ability to live a productive life for a number of years now. On top of all that, there's this amazing serendipitous quality to all of this because as a child, I started to study and read about the Warani and the Amazon, and particularly this group of Warani, uh, a movie has been made about this situation where some missionaries were speared uh, when the first attempt was made at contacting. Um, and so that story and others kind of catalyzed this lifelong passion of mine to study ayahuasca and plant medicine. I'm, I'm currently uh, an ayahuasca facilitator myself, and so we actually ended up here right upstream from this band of Warani. We didn't even know it um, until we had been here for a month or so. Uh, and so just the other day, um, after I had concocted this plan, you know, I've been meaning to approach them and ask if we could come and at least maybe interview a shaman. Uh, one of them, one of the Warani women was in town and she motioned for us to come over and speak with them and they ended up inviting us to the village and also to teach my son Warani and Warani is the third least studied language on the planet uh, and according to at least this group of Warani there are no outsiders that speak it fluently so I'm really really hoping that we can go there and we can learn the Warani and we can study the plants with them and document it all for my YouTube channel and raise awareness because this place is in serious trouble. Uh, my friend observed the other night, uh, and I had noticed this before, but I haven't lived here for four years. He's actually been here long enough to have observed the decline. Uh, so at night, the jungle is more or less silent. I mean, there are some bugs like that one, but uh, the frogs are almost totally gone. And so the jungle is dying. And the reason that the Warani extended this invitation and have opened themselves up to outsiders is to try to get this message out there that we are actually destroying their habitat. And I think that aside from the spiritual message of, of living in homeostasis with our environment, uh, the Warani and other indigenous people have given us medicines like ayahuasca that have the potential to save our culture. Um, from uh, what appears to me to be impending destruction. And so the least we can do in return is um, try not to destroy theirs. And so my motivation here is, you know, like threefold. I want to learn the Warani language and make a contribution to documenting and protecting um, their lands. And also uh, the Warani are treated very badly here. People refer to them as monkeys. The children go to town naked. I've seen uh, the Ecuadorian men catcalling them you know, their, their, their rights are not respected by the government at all. The Chinese mines are coming in and just destroying everything and just taking their land. They give them a few hours to move their villages and if they don't, they will bulldoze them with women and children still in them. And so, you know, I, the, the Amazon rainforest is an amazing place and we need to protect it. So, you know, I'm trying to help to document all this stuff and to show people out there the value of uh, what these indigenous cultures have to offer and to document the destruction firsthand, and also to heal myself, and to fulfill this lifelong bucket list dream of going to spend time with the Warani. And again, it's just absolutely amazing that the universe just kind of dumped us here. Uh, and I, I had no idea that um, this was specifically uh, the place that I had been reading about as a child. And so we're trying to raise money with this GoFundMe to, um, you know, make a contribution to the community. We're gonna to have to pay some equivalent of rent, and I say have to, but I mean, you know, we should uh, absolutely uh, try to support them. And um, I could use some help. We're gonna need a translator. 
Uh, I would like to have a better camera if possible and a microphone. We only have the microphone with this camera. Um, but at least to raise enough money to just be able to detach from our current life and go into the jungle for a few months and make a contribution to the community and, um, and then have some, some kind of money to, to reintegrate, to leave the jungle when it comes time. So thank you so much for watching uh, our GoFundMe. Um, we really appreciate all you guys even considering making a contribution.